Hey, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. So here's a fresh install of Core First within TD Snap. And if I wanted to change, say, button coloring or page background coloring, what makes it super easy on this particular app, if I go into edit mode, go into page set, you have some things here over on style that you can change universally throughout the whole page set. So if you wanted to change the skin tone or hair color, you can do that. The font, the font size, whether or not it's bold, where you want the label. So if you want it on top, which I always pretty much do, I do that and boom, it happened all at one time, not having to do button by button. Um, if I want to change how the link visualization is shown, I can do that here. So if I wanted corner tabs instead of navigation icons or folders for links, you can do that. Um, I can change the grid factor here throughout the whole thing. So if I wanted it very large, large, medium, small, very small. And that changes it throughout every page in this uh, page set. I can change the page background color here. The default's ash. If I wanted to change it to something else, I could do that here. I could even create my own custom color. A uh, toolbar background, I can change that here. The message window, this is where I change all of the formatting of it. And navigation buttons can be formatted here. This is where I change preferences. Then on the page level, if I wanted to do some changes just to this page, You can change the page background here. If I go in and go to buttons, let me drag this down to where you can see what I'm doing here. You have some options over here on the far right hand side. There's select all, multi-select, and marquee select. Select all just does exactly what it says. So if you want to select everything, you can do that tap to unselect, or I can multi-select and say, maybe I wanted to change just the color of all of these blue buttons at one time. Let me drag this back up. There we go. And now I'm gonna style and say, I don't like that color of blue Maybe I want something more like that. Boom. So that's what I'm talking about, that you can do that type of formatting in mass so quickly versus button by button. Um, if I wanted to change other things about that, I could change the button border for all the buttons that I had selected. And maybe I wanted to change it to black. Boom. It's all done for all the buttons I selected versus button by button. I'm going to change it back to clear. If I wanted to change the thickness of the border, which I would need to have a color first, let's change the color back to something. And say I wanted button borders to be heavy, medium, thin, none. And you can even adjust the thickness on a slider. So if I didn't like any of the pre-made options, I can adjust them and look, all the selected buttons that I have are done at one time. Uh, button label, if I wanted some, maybe if I was making a high contrast option and had all those button backgrounds black, I could change the button label to white on all of those buttons at one time. I could change the font, the font size, whether or not it's bold, how they're laid out all at one time on the buttons that have been selected. So I hope this gives you an idea. I can give you a look later at what grid for iPad looks like. Um, it's not quite as intuitive. It's not that it's hard. It's just I haven't used that quite as much, and so I'm still learning. 
have to re-remind myself each time. Whereas here on TD Snap, it's to me very, very easy to do in mass um, formatting. And then of course, whenever you get down to the button level, so let's unselect and let's just set a particular button, then of course you're gonna have to change the image on that one button. Um, this app doesn't have where you can create a list of just labels with a comma, label, comma, label, comma, and have it populate a whole page based on that. There are other apps that can do that. So hope this helps.